Hey guys, thank you for coming to buy my channel. So today I have something very special for you guys. This car has been converted to the way we wanted it, okay? For a family of four, okay? Like I mentioned in my previous uh, video for the first conversion, that I said, I mentioned that this week uh, that I'll be doing it because I'm in a rush time again. Um, so we're gonna go to on a trip to Newfoundland. So this car has been uh, specifically done for this trip, this long road trip, okay? In my previous video, the way we had the setup, if you haven't watched it, go and check it out. There's details there and the way it looks, it's heavy, okay? The way it's made. This vehicle now is made very light, and I'll tell you the difference in a few seconds. So let's start from the outside, what the, this vehicle has, okay? From the outside. I actually put on the visor, okay? That way it detects the rain and wind and all that, as you know already. Okay, the next thing is the top part hasn't been changed. The upper crossbar I custom built that one and on top you won't even see it well, if I didn't even tell you by looking at it there's a sun uh, there's a solar uh, charge up there which is a uh, 110 amp hour okay that's what charges my battery AGM okay so let's start from here from the outside of this vehicle from mechanic the engine is super smooth mechanical part all the, the entire mechanical part I have changed from wheel bearing brakes inner tie rod outer tie rod ball joint upper control arm everything you name it rear shocks and spring everything totally okay for this conversion and as you can see I don't know if you can see this um, you see how high my tire is now I mean my tire is uh, the rim of the tires in between the gap it's high and look at the back with this conversion look at the back it's super high okay with no air suspension nothing dramatically big change when I made this conversion okay before it was sagging down so the weight huge difference the weight before cost the vehicle to drive differently I don't know if you guys realize if you're into mechanic and uh, fixing and all that or you drive and you can pay attention if your car is sagging down and it's front-wheel drive your car is actually lifting up on a tilt like my uh, uh, house right now the the driveway is on a tilt and the car goes up and you're driving it's very hard on the engine okay that's no good so enough for the mechanical part let's get to inside the uh, vehicle okay <clears throat> so inside the vehicle let's start from the top the mattress is still the same okay but a huge difference when I took out the middle row seat and replaced my back rear seat okay huge room difference before this was full length all the way to back now at the back there's a 14 inches at least gap at the back which is perfect because my sister-in-law decided she wants to come with four people sitting on this uh, sleeping on this mattress it actually fits and we have room to move around so now adding her it'll just be perfect okay so there's a spot at the back right there to sleep too as well. We're gonna add a um, some uh, cushion at the back there for sleeping. And you can see it's very basically built, but very efficient, meaning that it's for five, four people, okay? I didn't build any cupboard around. Why? Because when we're in driving mode, my kids, they can still have that back seat there and put their drinks and all that or when they want to eat right so that's what I didn't do and we don't actually need it because for storage I have a huge storage 
platform on the bottom here it's all air gap okay that's why I didn't put any covers and all that uh, drawers in you know the, the way it was built so I can put stuff in here okay so let's get to this front part and and you'll see actually sorry let me just move out my um, okay let's actually in the front here I built this um, this cooler I built a stand bef and my battery now it's put in the front okay so let me remove this cooler so you can see sorry I'm just gonna get in here guys to show you guys by the way I sleep this way okay and my feet is straight and my head is straight I got a lot of room I don't even have to bend and I just bought this fan okay guys and it's crap so anyway don't buy it but to have a little breeze to put like near your face uh, on top it's actually I think it's actually good but uh, in terms if you want a little breeze right but now let me move the cooler to the front and I'll bring you in here so you can see sorry guys I'm covering you so let's get to the battery part you see how I put this battery oh sorry so the battery I have two batteries here AGM batteries okay I built this frame and it's so perfect now the weight is bringing the vehicle down and the driving with the steering it's so smooth and powerful to be honest with you I uh, I'm when I drive a vehicle I don't know if you guys notice but um, if you guys drive you should pay attention to your car a lot and you'll hear things that way you'll know where certain trouble is it, it, it always gives you a sign so there's the way it is right now the weight is going down and yes it's um, my battery wires is all in conjunction and everything but it's it's messy but it's very efficient I didn't buy um, those negative and uh, positive uh, bars it's expensive and I don't have much room here to play with so that's why I didn't do that way but it, the main key was it was expensive and I didn't have a lot of wires anyway to do it so anyway my converter uh, 3000 watt converter yes it's I know it's way too much for uh, for this system but it's very efficient for what I'm doing if I want to cook if I want to do something I can still use it perfectly okay so my inverter has been changed it's put over here now everything is in the front okay so that's how I have this set up right now very convenient and smooth okay so let me throw some of these in the front and then we'll get the we'll get to the back part okay and if you guys want to you guys planning to do this uh, conversion even if it's one or two people okay the, it used to be a console here I took it off okay and it's very easy to take off that console so, some people are, like I've seen a guy like taking off this front seat you don't need to put, take out the front seat there's a way to do it so easily okay you can take it off the front seat you're like you're gonna go in all kinds of headache okay so now the conversion is that way that's my power right there but the key to this power source okay it's not my solar it's my second auxiliary battery isolator my isolator is the one that charges all this from the alternator it's hooked up okay I'll show you in a bit that's my key that's why I I didn't mind using that's why I took the 3000 watt inverter and this 3000 watt inverter to be honest with you I bought that like seven eight years ago um, because I wanted a big van mm -hmm. so I can't afford it obviously so that was an intention a long time ago I had this idea but now we're gonna use it for the minivan 
okay, which is perfect because I have more than enough power. I did cook it, cook and use it, a lot of power like in here. And at the same time, it's actually perfect because I do a lot of uh, renovation and repairs and that, that right? So um, I do need the power when I, all my tools, with this conversion, taking out the front seat, uh, the middle roll, all my tools right here. I have from air compressor, from all sorts of tools. It's packed right here perfectly. A lot more room than before. Like I mentioned, it's hugely different. Okay, dramatic change. So now we're gonna go to the back, guys. And obviously that's my baby girl there. She's walking away. <laughs> okay. You see how I mentioned right here? There's so much room here. The mattress used to become all the way here, full. That's it. But now as when I change this conversion, I have a lot of room, which is perfect. Okay. So this conversion is very simple. I didn't build, like I mentioned, I didn't build any uh, cabinet and all that because I don't need it. All my things can go under here. You see, it's all long, all the way down there. Yes, it's a mess right now because I didn't. And, and there's my there's my water tank. Okay, that water tank. I'm supposed to wait for the parts today to come to do to build the shower, like I mentioned. That's what I'm missing right now, and and they say it's supposed to come, and it hasn't come yet. So it's been delayed. So anyhow, guys, um, that's the frame. The this frame, the way I built this frame, you're gonna get to know in a sec. I sand down everything already to make it smooth. The first time when I built this one, you can see I had two by four in my videos. So this this way is so light, and I took the two by four and I shaved it in half. So everything is inch and a half, inch and a half. Okay, and you're gonna see that where I'm gonna store this. Okay, in a sec. Let me put just put this uh, back on the stand. And you're gonna see me put, put put away the mattress, okay? Pull up the mattress, so then you have an idea what I'm gonna do. So right now, guys, I'll just put the mattress away first for a sec, okay? Honey, can you get down? Because daddy's gonna fold this up. No, daddy's gonna fold it up, honey. I know, this is my baby girl, Theodora. She's five years old. Okay, please, can you do it down so daddy can show them? Yeah. Okay? Okay guys, as you can see, there's a hole right there. There's a reason why that hole was there. Okay? This was built, the three pieces is built 30 inches. I mean 29 inches. So you can see this very easy. All I have to do is lift this right up. That's it, that's how quick it was, done. That's how easy it is. Quick. Okay? So now, what I do is, look at this, this is so light. Okay? We just take this out. Honey. I'll put that in. I just lift this up. Basically, you lift this up, and then you take this, and you take this, and it goes inside. That's it. It goes inside and sits down flat, like that. That's all it is. 
these two frames will go inside that box and this car flips right the seats flips up for driving mode okay and then the mattress the mattress will sit right on top the mattress will sit right here all right and this is my solar solar charge controller right there and the isolator kill switch is right here Bah. Everything's been changed. Bah. My inverter is right here. I also bah. have all the power running right behind here. Mm. All the power cable running right behind and going in there. Bah. It's that simple, guys. Bah. 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 Um, bah. It just looks like a door. <laughs> yes, it looks like a door. Yes. Okay, good honey, can you come on? So there you guys have it. That is my conversion. And if you guys want to know how to... This setup is so light. It's unbelievable. And the driving is so different. If you want to know how I did the inverters, uh, hookups, and the isolator, let me know in the comments below. And if you, ha if you went through this far, please consider com subscribing. It'll help me greatly. And I appreciate you guys coming and taking a look at my conversion. I hope the tips and all that in here helps you. Mainly when you're driving, like I said, there's a lot of ways you can make the car lighter and more efficient for you. I mean, obviously, there's